Before the fundraiser began, we had to show a VIP a little something as they had won a competition that meant they got to see one of our most fearsome predators. We approached the back of the enclosure when I realised something was horribly wrong. The cage we were due to be at was wide open and this meant we were face to face with one of the most fearsome predators in the world. One early evening, I was trusted to organise a fundraiser for my local zoo as they were trying to raise funds for endangered animals. As a ploy to raise money, we created a competition where the winner could get up close and personal with one of our most tremendous predators, behind safe clear glass of course. The winner was chosen and I was to guide them to the back of the enclosure before the fundraiser began so they could meet the animal. Little did I know that there would be a major miscommunication that led to the back door of the enclosure to be wide open. When we reached the enclosure, I think we were in just as much shock as the predator was. There was nothing between us. It was five feet away from us and could easily attack. It was the fearsome Bengal tiger. He had locked onto our competition winner. This young girl was frozen and did not know what to do. Luckily, in the early stages, she made the right decisions. She locked eyes with the tiger and did not look away and was backing away slowly. However, she made her first bad decision. She turned her back on the tiger. The tiger pounced on her, knocking her to the ground. I called for security. Luckily, they were nearby. They drew out their weapon and realized the tiger was not going to stop attacking this poor lady. He fired at the animal and it quickly scurried away. I rushed quickly behind the tiger and slammed the enclosure shut. Unfortunately for the lady, she had severe injuries from the tiger attack and it turned out the security guard actually missed the tiger altogether and actually shot this poor woman in the hip. She was rushed to the hospital and fortunately survived, but it was a long, long road to recovery for her. Fortunately, the tiger was not put down. It was not the tiger's fault it was in this position. It just felt threatened. The lady was later told that had she encountered a tiger that was used to hunting, that was from the wild, she likely would not have survived the ordeal. But because she was attacked by an amateur, young tiger, it was not as skilled at hunting, which meant she was likely spared for the most awful of fates. Remember, if you're ever unlucky enough to encounter a tiger, Maintain eye contact and back away slowly.